this land. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. Mm. You know he did. Unless you like it, brother. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones.
Let's keep moving. I think he's still out there. This guy was scared. Is this game like uh, Mass Effect? Will there be any fornications? Um, so far, there have been no fornications. You actually get married on this game, but mm -hmm. I don't think that they be doing anything. You just get to take your wife's money. Just It's pretty nice. How many hours you to put in? I put in about, uh, I'm on level 40. I won't say, I'm sort of probably putting in close to... About 50 hours so far, if I remember right. Game of the year for you? Actually, maybe, maybe. That's, supposed to be, that's, that's, that's the thing to say, but it's just the game of the year. But, but in fact, I think the same Troy Third has just as good a story, and I don't get as bored with it because it's not as long. I have not played Saints Row 3 yet. It's actually good, boy. Excuse me, gentlemen. Of the game. Well, see, what you got going on here is, as with most uh, Elder Scrolls games, you're, an out, you're a person from another world, typically in trouble, in jail. And so what happened is I just escaped jail, and uh, now I'm about to get into an adventure that involves dragons and uh, usurpers of empires. And I'm going to have to make some choices, decisions about who I choose to serve. How I choose to live my life. It is a sandbox game. The choices are mine. And the consequences have long pending. <laughs> but really not, though. You step it down the back. That's pretty cool. I get out of that, For those of you who do not know, C4 Platinum is not playing. I'm spectating. I'd rather watch uh, Skyrim, yeah, the movie. They play the game, so. This is Joe Dollar Sign playing. I've uh, I've actually uh, gone through this stage before, so I kind of know the uh, the ends and outs of it. So I'm gonna be able to get you out through this pretty quick. Uh, I'm gonna use the force. <laughs> I know, right? Using that Mace Windu. <laughs> That's what most games, you want to start off by just looting your, looting everybody because mm. when you get to the shop, you get that book and money. Make it. When you get to the shop, you don't want to uh, start spending you know, this money. So just, just loot and pillage as much as you can until you can't yeah. carry anymore. Good. You know we had to play some Marvel, right? <laughs> so we can get book in that game. We're going to get that genius. Can you turn the uh, dial up on that? Come with us. Yeah. We need to get out of here. Boys, that's actually right. Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna have to crank this big beast up by seat. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said they keep us under attack. See, while they're talking, I'm going to go ahead and loot this guy. Get all his stuff. I'm going to sell it. Oh, that was a girl. That's a, it's a guy. It's a guy in the uh, bra. The, the <laughs> BPG on the, on the game form. Yeah. It's a guy in the hands and bra. Poison. See if you can get it open with some picks. We need everything we can get. Sure. Take all of them. It's just like lock picking in Fallout. 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 Yep. Resident Evil. That's exactly what it's like. That's like lock picking in Fallout. I ain't played Fallout. I played three hours Fallout. I never got this skill. Grab what you can, let's go. We got some goals, potions, so let's go out. I didn't even say take that hoodie. Yeah, we're going to hot all this. I bought that man. Yeah, it's four coins in here. We're gonna take those. Yeah. So is Skyrim considered an RPG action adventure game? What is it? This yeah. is uh, this is an action. I would say this is an adventure RPG. 
Now, what this guy doesn't realize, what he didn't actually do, was to uh, kill this guy. But I'm going to kill him because he's a jerk. And he also has more stuff that I can take. Well, he thought I was his friend. But see, Joe Dollarsign really has no allegiance to anyone. But Joe Dollarsign does look at people's clothes and sell them to the highest bidder. That guy right there had on a loincloth. Yeah, Vegeta. Yeah. Woman, fetch me a loincloth. <laughs> Servant woman. <laughs> Well, look at the detail on that strop. That's right. And, look uh, at the bricks. As with most Bethesda games, the more you do something, or most RPGs, the more you do something, the more the better you get at it. So try to pick every lock you can. Even if you break the lock, you're still getting some kind of experience. Look at the textures on the cobwebs, the polygons. The shadows. So we just make sure that it can freeze up at any time. <laughs> Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way? Oh, he's really? making jokes. I was like, you had to oh, make that little oh, cameo, huh? Oh, it's clever like a baby seal. Is the combat fluid over here? It is, normally. This is a little jerky for me. Uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bow and arrow guy. That's all. I'm looking forward to uh, losing somebody that has a bow and arrow. Uh, have you ran across the uh, dreaded arrow to the heat? I have not. I ran across the dreaded arrow that somebody shoots up in the air and falls into my head. That's right. <laughs> Can you upgrade the gear that you get? Or do you you get, can if you are uh, a blacksmith. If you're a blacksmith, you can uh, upgrade your make it stronger. You can do everything from make you can you can kill the animal, skin the hide, make the leather to make your armor. So it's, it's a lot of detail. If you want to do all that stuff you can, or if you want to spend money and make and, and buy the stuff you can. If you want to become an alchemist and enchant your weapon to make it magical, you can do that. Or you can just buy a magic weapon. Have you experienced any of the uh, the lag on this Xbox 360 at all? Not lag. So, well, yeah, sometimes some lag. Most of the time, uh, I see a lot of glitches. You know, you kill the guy, and he's left floating in the air. Or his weapons are really left floating in the air. Or you kill the guy, he just goes spinning out of control across the screen for some weird reason. Mm -hmm. It's more things like that. Wow. All right. There was a... Uh, later on in the game, when you fight the Giants... Um, when they hit you, they just knock you all the way up into the air. You can almost just see the curvature of the earth. Some people think that's a glitch, but I really think that they just put that in the game because it's pretty neat. And we are almost out of this cave, if I remember right. This is the PC version also. Right. Of course, uh, spiders attack you, they have venom, so if you don't watch yourself, you could become poison. Oh, by the way, block, you can get off the block on this day, or you haven't been doing it. Are there combos in there like that? You lock? Um, not really. Uh, you can become just more surgical with your sword, you know, the more you, can, the more you work at it, you want a lot of different kind of perks with your sword so you become better at it. Uh, but as far as I can tell, it's not really a combo. It's pretty much a swinger. Would you prefer to play this with Emotion Plus? I would not because I am such a traditionalist. <laughs> I feel very comfortable with the Xbox controller in my hand. I sound like a man that plays Skyward plays Sword. <laughs> that, that would be me. Put that sword in your hand. And we should be 
out of this pan too so. So are there any simulators between this and uh, any of the other Bethesda games like they're, Fallout or anything like they're, that? They're, they're very similar, you know. Uh, this is almost, the, the gameplay is just almost similar to, you know, the Fallout game except instead of a, a gun you use with sword and a bow and arrow, you know. If people that remember the the, uh, the the Elder Scrolls games back in the day, there was nothing like this. When the Bethesda took them over, they kind of uh, I mean, when when the, the, the old Elder, I mean, the old Fallout games was nothing like this. But when Bethesda took it over, they started making the Fallout games like the, the Elder Scrolls games. I was waiting on my guy because he was going to give me an option to uh, either attack this man with a sword or sneak and attack it with a bow and arrow. But he is apparently missing in action, so I'm just going to go ahead and hack this bear with my sword. And, and maybe I'll die, maybe I'll die. <laughs> so I did that, yeah. Good name. I don't know where my guy is. He may be dead. Ooh, Peter gonna be looking for you. <laughs> yeah, not really for Mario. About that to do you, suit. <laughs> awesome. Maybe my guy will be here at the end of the... Uh, when I go to the outside, or maybe he's dead. You done glitched him out already. I may have glitched him out already. We'll find out soon enough. And that's how you escape the city and keep from being beheaded or attacked by a dragon. Can you get Shawn Michael Chaps on you? <laughs> I have not been able to acquire Shawn Michael Chaps as of yet. as my guy. Beautiful forest station. Wait. But you can't have an old school Chris Jericho ponytail if I'm not mistaken. Goatee? I think so, yeah. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. And that's what's completed. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith. I'm hey, sure we got an achievement unlocked. Too bad don't go to my gamer it's store. Probably <laughs> best if we Ladies and tail. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. No. I mean live run? Yeah, it's on it's on Windows Live, but you know. They just felt like you didn't need no team. At this point you can okay. you can walk around with the guy and follow him or you can go ahead and just kick it on your own. Since he's walking slow and I know exactly where I'm going, I'll just kick it on my own. Can one cut down trees with the sword? What can I cut down trees with a sword? Now you can acquire an axe mm -hmm. And uh, I think you can probably cut down a tree with the axe, but it's part of a lady, you know, doing a job. Oh, okay. And the only job I do on here is uh, killing people, and I do it quite well. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in uh, hauling wood, chopping wood, or uh, being uh, working in a forge or anything like that, you know. I snipe people with my arrows, I hack people with my swords, and I uh, steal their stuff. Come up here, you have what you call the stones. You get to choose an attribute. You have, uh, I believe this is a warrior stone, this is the major stone, and this the is the, uh, the thief stone. Yeah. And uh, since I got the sword, I'm gonna pick this one right here. This gives you an uh, attribute, 20% uh, faster combat skills. Mm. Now they got these stones all over this big mass world, but you can only have one power at a time. So right now I got the warrior stone, I'll keep that. Until, well, he's explaining to us right now. Thirteen of them. Thirteen of them. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Mr. Big Yes, sir. It's been uh, quite enjoyable so far. Slap. Gonna slap some of this, some of this hip in this room. Listen, 
You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. Do you want something? It really is someone like this. What's that? If the rebels have themselves a dragon, yeah. you know, Tullius is the only one who can stop it. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. I'm going to do shit until I poop myself. <laughs> Yeah, see? 